Hey, 반갑습니다. I'm going to try a new format going forward for some of my vlogs. So instead of just me being a talking head, I'm going to show some local sites rather than just watching me talk. So I hope you enjoy the sites. I'm going to go now. Goodbye. So are the glory days of teaching English in Korea over? Many people wonder if there will still be teaching jobs in Korea when they're ready to go. With all the public school or epic cutbacks the last three years, it's easy to understand why people would wonder. I've heard people mention the quote-unquote glory days in Korea and other countries. I think what they mean is the days when a country that's involved in ESL instruction would hire anyone who was a native speaker, regardless of credentials or background. No degree, no criminal background check, no problem. Then governments begin to require degrees, TESOL certificates, and criminal checks in order to get like work permits and visas and things like that. And then all of a sudden the gene pool of teachers quickly changes. And this is the case with Korea. Even in the four years that I've been here, I've seen many changes in requirements. TESOL certificates are being requested more. I've seen job recs looking specifically for English degrees, like English literature, straight up English, and even teaching licenses. And this was for a public school job in Seoul. So with regards to this idea of glory days, yes, they are over in Korea. You need a degree, a clean record, and oftentimes a TESOL certificate, and even experience sometimes. The last two are more prevalent in public school settings. The current Korean president has made substantial cutbacks in spending on foreign teachers in public schools. Oh, and before I go any further, I'm about to get photobombed here in three, two, one. Hello. Welcome to the show. <laughs> uh, this is Nampodong shopping district, by the way. It's right around the corner from Gukje Market, which for you Korea fans out there is the setting of a recent Korean movie called Gukje Market, Ode to My Father, that happens to be very near and dear to many Koreans. Uh, it's also the site of the original Busan International Film Festival, and it's right across the street from Jagalchi Fish Market. Okay, back to the topic. Many Korean teachers believe that when a new president comes into office, this will change back. My experience is when a government cuts something, it usually stays that way for a long time. But only time will tell in the case of public school teaching jobs in Korea. What I can say for sure is many parents are unhappy with these cuts because many of the students no longer have access to a native English speaker. Lots of students don't go to English hagwans or these after school academies, or they may not go to any hagwan at all because it can be costly. So having access to at least one native speaker is a very big deal for many. It makes a huge difference. The thing is, Korea has not changed its interest in English instruction. Everyone is still crazy about the notion of learning English, so the demand is there. Some of the slack caused by the public school cuts will be picked up by the private sector like hagwans, or gangbubangs, which are study rooms, uh, is what that means. And they're essentially like a small hagwan that are, that are set in someone's home, and also private tutoring. Like I said though, many families can't afford the costs of sending their kids to programs outside of public school. At this moment, there are probably less jobs in Korea as a whole, in my opinion. Uh, just because the cuts just happened recently, like in the last couple years, and any private sector counterbalancing probably hasn't had time to adjust. I do think though that over time there will be more private academy jobs than there is now. The question then really comes down to whether or not you are interested in teaching with a hagwan. So with regards to these aspects, no, the glory days are not over. In fact, you can expect there to be many jobs in Korea for a long time. This includes universities, international schools, teaching business English, standardized test prep schools, uh, hagwans, and still public schools. All of these things are out of our control though, but what you and I do have control over is coming up the curve with meeting teacher requirements. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you like this new style with showing something other than me. 
and a blank apartment wall behind me. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Peace.